Hello and welcome to Supervisor Tips and Tricks. In this video I'll show you how to generate theoretical grade tonnage curves at any given block size quickly and easily using the discrete Gaussian model for change of support. I've loaded data from a gold deposit and this domain has a declustered average grade of 3.35 grams per tonne and exhibits the classic positive skewed distribution associated with gold grades. I've also loaded a block model in which gold has been estimated using the MIK method into a parent cell block size of 40 by 40 by 1. As you can see, the model reproduces the declustered mean of the drill hole data reasonably well, and the support effect is evident in the block model histogram shown on the left, in that the variability decreases. It might be easier to see if I overlay the two histograms. The histogram of the drill hole samples is shown in red and the block model shown in blue. The discrete Gaussian model for change of support was introduced some years ago as part of the supervisor's model validation module. Model validation allows you to perform standard block model validations quickly and easily through the generation of grade trend plots, also known as swath plots, in the x, y and z directions. It also generates a long strike and cross strike block and point support histogram comparisons and probability plots. The grade tonnage curve under model validation allows you to compare the block model grade tonnage curve with the expected theoretical grade tonnage curve for the block size that has been read directly from the loaded block model. A range of cutoffs can be defined by entering start and end values and the step change. Two different representations of the grade tonnage curve are available, and you can toggle between them by selecting the Use Alternative Draw Style, which you'll find under the Draw tab. You can toggle on or off the display of global and theoretical tons and grades, with or without declustering weights. This allows you to easily assess the impact of spatial clusters of drill hole data in the global recovery figures. The point support grade tonnage curve is automatically calculated using the drill hole samples for comparison. Note that maximum selectivity is achieved at point support and therefore all global grade tonnage curves should sit below this one, which is shown as blue. It is also possible to generate theoretical grade tonnage curves directly from drill hole data without having to load a block model. This is incredibly useful when you want to assess the impact of differing block sizes and or variogram parameters. This functionality is called predicted grade tonnage curves and you will need a variogram model in order to use it. To insert the grade tonnage curve, right click on the continuity model and select predicted GT curve from the drop down menu. You then need to specify a range of cutoffs in the GT curve tab. The Global Change of Support tab provides the ability to define the block size, block discretization and the number of Hermite polynomials to use. Remember, you can toggle between the two GT curve representations at any point. To compare the effect different block sizes have on the grade tonnage curve, simply insert another predictive grade tonnage curve and adjust the block size. You can also use the copy and paste functionality. To export the results for both point and block support, select the results tab and then right click anywhere within the table and select the required option from the drop down menu. As I mentioned previously, you can also easily assess the impact of the variogram on the global grade tonnage curves. For example, after decreasing the nugget effect, the three different grade tonnage curves are highlighted in black, indicating that those components require updating. Similarly, after changing the range of a variogram in one direction, the grade tonnage curves need to be updated. Please let us know if you found this video useful by clicking like.
For more information or to make suggestions for other tips and tricks videos, click on the link in the description below.